Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Fool's Thumb Guide called Those Who Dare. Which one you to own the 1970 Ferrari 512S to complete all the challenges with? So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is the car in question and it'll set you back five, three and a half million credits, sorry, from the auto show. Um, or you can also pick one up from the Fool's Thumb Shop if you don't have the credits to do so. Now I haven't created a tune for this week's challenge you don't actually need it. Um, I have slapped on a few uh, performance upgrades but it's entirely down to yourselves if you want to do so. Now the first challenge here simply wants you to drive five miles which is super easy to do so of course to do this we're going to head over to the highway and we're actually going to do all three of this week's challenges on the highway and they are super quick to do after this one so we all know how to obviously complete a challenge such as this you just want to drive as fast as possible until you've basically completed the challenge and hit the five mile mark it's as simple as that and I would recommend just keeping your speed up uh, before you go into the next challenge and I'll tell you why in a minute. Now the next one here simply wants you to take a photo of the car painted in the signature Ferrari red. Now this is the only colour you can pick it in unless of course you've changed it via the download in someone's livery. So just use a standard stock red and take a photo of the car and that will be the second challenge complete. Now the final one wants you to reach a speed of over 200 mile an hour. So this is why I said after the first challenge keep your speed up because as soon as you've taken the photo and come out from that if you're doing 200 mile an hour or above you will have then completed the final challenge. Simple as that. It wouldn't have even taken you a second and that is this week's Forzathon complete now hopefully this guide has helped you out i'd also just like to apologize for last week's one obviously there was a bit of a glitch with the game not the challenge or the video in which i described how to complete it which was a bit annoying um but i think most of you got around it in the end which was obviously good to hear however if you're struggling with anything in this week's Forzathon or any other challenge then please do let me know down below in the comments i would be more than happy to help you guys out as best as i can if you're new to the channel and this did help i'd very much appreciate it if you could subscribe and drop in a like massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care